it's literally coming off. And now it just broke. Don't you know that where you wanna be, I can and where you wanna go, it never has I changed the American dress. See it in the way I play, don't try to see me. What's up you guys? Got this new little uh, grip thing to hold my phone, so we're gonna see how well it holds. Uh, I don't know. Just gonna do a little driving, talking vlog. If this fucking falls, bro, are you fucking kidding me, dude? Seriously? Fucking fourteen dollars on this fucking. Let's give it a review. Here we go. This is not a vlog. This is my uh, auto grip flex windshield and dash smartphone flex review. And a car just almost hit me. Here's my fucking review on your product, dude. It's fucking fucked. But, uh... Bro, are you fucking kidding me? Are you for real? Is this not even gonna work? I don't wanna hold my phone and drive. That's dangerous as fuck. But, uh... Maybe it'll say. <clears throat> Supposed to get my COVID-19 vaccination tomorrow. My uh, Moderna, or Pfizer. But, uh... I'm kinda scared to get it. Cause I had COVID in November. And that tested negative for a few weeks. And then late December, I got sick again, right? pretty sick and then I, I was only and then I've only been negative since let's say January 1st I got better right and uh I got an antibody test and on the 13th it came back that I had antibodies so if I have antibodies from the first time and then the second time then if I get a vaccination that provides an overload of antibodies I've been hearing people some people say that it's prone to make you feel sicker because there's so much antibodies going on and your body, that's what antibodies do is it builds protection uh, and cells and stuff and then you're able to fight. Don't you dare fall. And, um, I really just don't care anymore. But, uh, so yeah, I've been reading that and then the other thing is like, okay, well, so it won't be as effective, they say. I'm about to kill myself. It says... It won't be nearly as effective. Dude, this thing fell and turned my window wipers on. You guys entertained yet? But yeah, so it's just... Seeing all that stuff, you know, it makes me worry. So, like, say I do get it and no arm's done. Then it just still won't be as effective. But I, I have to go back to work soon and I want to get the vaccine and know that I'm protected and safe. But if I get it and it's not as effective then what's the point i might as well might as well just try to stay safe and wait it out you know because uh, it hasn't been 90 days so i might as well just wait another uh what is it like three or four weeks and it'll be at 90 days you know Let's see if we can mess with this there's got to be a logical reason that this isn't holding well this product can't be that terrible right Oh look, now it's locked. Now it's locked. But um, so that's just, it's just what I'm thinking. Just don't know if I want to get it and risk the, it not working as well or me feeling any worse. I don't know. I, I might just wait because I'm supposed to get it tomorrow. But I'm probably gonna wait. Probably gonna wait, bro. This is literally this. This grip, this flex, this windshield and dash flex thing is, don't buy it. Oh, God. It's a waste of your money. It's absolutely terrible. If you buy this, dude, you're not very smart. It, the grip on it, the flexible thing is not good. It's not even holding in place like it should. The grip is coming off. It's literally coming off. And now it just broke. Auto grip flex windshield and dash smartphone flex mount. So that was my review of the grip. It was absolutely terrible. It's horrible. It was like 14 something bucks at Walmart. Not worth it. There's a cop. But uh, I do plan on getting another one. At, like, I mean, yeah, I could get one at Love's, like a magnet that holds better than that. That was absolutely terrible. I've got my receipt and everything. I'm bringing that shit back tomorrow, dude. <clears throat> but, uh, yeah, I'll probably wait. I don't know what you guys' thoughts on the vaccine are or anything like that. You better let me go, dude. But, uh, I mean, I've gotten flu vaccinations my whole life. And 
been pretty good with them. I mean, I've never gotten sick after this. Last time I got sick after, but that's because I just got over COVID and flu at the same time. I was barely over, you know, COVID and the flu. And that's why I got super freaking sick because I was like a, like a week negative and got it. And then I, say I, gotta get it. I don't know, but I've never had a bad experience with it. So I am a, I'm not pro-vaxxer, not anti-vaxxer either. I just, I'm going to get it. I don't care what nobody says, dude. About to go to TJ Maxx and buy some dope ass shoes though. I might do a shoe review. Probably not. I don't know. Sometimes I just get really uh, bored or bummed out or I need to clear my head and think on some stuff. So I just drive and think and talk and whatnot. So I thought I'd go out for a little drive, see if I could find something for my phone and maybe go get some new shoes or something. You know, for the ladies. And nobody talks to me. <laughs> but where is TJ Maxx? There's Hobby Lobby. Planet Fitness Staples. Dude, I don't even know where TJ Maxx is, dude. I live I've lived here for so long. I've lived here for years now. I don't know. There's this dope Chinese restaurant right here, bro. Chinese is my favorite food of all time. Besides chicken. And there's Chicken Express as I say it. Staples. TJ Maxx. Oh my god. It was it's like the biggest sign in this little lot. It's literally like the biggest sign out here. Yeah, well, I could have had a better camera holding focus video for you, but the uh, the grip holder did not do well. Let's go see what kind of shoes we can find. Here we go into TJ Maxx. These nice cars in front of me just let me go. So, I said that's this lady where the shoes are because I don't know anything about TJ Maxx. There's a gourmet kitchen, active shoes. Where it says shoes is where the shoes are in a <clears throat> in a store. That's where you find the shoes. No size 12 shoes. I wear 12, 12 and a half. You know what they say about big feet. It means you got a big heart. TJ Maxx literally doesn't have any size, anything above like size 11 in my, in my feet size. So I, I bought this. It's a probiotic. It's good for you. You need to take it, take 30 of them a day. And they're really healthy. And then, uh, Another thing about not wanting to necessarily get vaccinated at the moment or listening to every doctor you talk to <coughs> is because, dude, I've been to doctors <coughs> recently. <coughs> I don't have COVID. I'm just coughing because I inhaled wrong. But uh, I've talked to doctors recently, like some that will tell me to do one thing and I'll go to another doctor to like a convenient care and they'll tell me to do something different. It's like, which one of you are telling the truth? It's like they say, the only thing you can trust is the CDC website. But the CDC website also talks about how uh, the percentage for somebody to catch COVID twice, even in an extended period of time, is like, what, 5%, they say? And I was negative for weeks and then caught it again less than two months later. So that, okay, so say it's true. That puts me in that 5% category. Unlucky, right? They, if I'm one of the ones that's already in that unlucky rare category, another statistic is it'd be in the points of less than one, like point something to 1% is to catch it a third time. So if I've already been unlucky, I don't want to take my fucking chances on that right now. Basically, you know your body, you know what you feel, you know when you get sick. So I'm going to wait get this shit done but uh i didn't find any shoes there but I, you know what i changed my mind i'm taking this piece of shit back to walmart right now and returning it it's absolutely terrible product um and then i'm gonna stop at loves and try to get something that works for me okay so this is really embarrassing but <clears throat> i didn't lock it <clears throat> when i put it on my window and i went to the customer service to re return it and it was literally just not locked in place and that's why it was sliding off and fell and I thought it broke and then I had already returned it and then the guy laughed at me and now I'm embarrassed so I just took the return and now I'm going to get another one this time we're going to do a happier review of the Premier Grip Mirror Review Mirror Smartphone Mount let's see if this one is better uh, for me to understand because I'm stupid dude if, if something doesn't have like there it goes if something does not have like instructions that like a freaking one-year-old can read i can't do it god i'm messing everything up dude how does this even work okay so you, obviously you probably pull this oh my god 
This is, oh my God. I don't even know where to set my freaking phone. There we go. All right, so you pull this, right? You should just pull out. Oh, 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 how are you supposed to get your phone in there? Okay, I'm gonna put it here, pull this thing out. Sorry, I didn't realize you could uh, pull it this way. Okay, so, all right, let me try again. You motherfucker. There we go, I finally got it in. Okay, so this one works a lot better. This one was only $12. But uh, actually, I don't know if it works better because I'm stupid and I couldn't get the other one on. So, it's on. Here we go. I like this better. This one connects to your review mirror. And it's it's not going to be padded down onto your dash or hanging up padded with the little sticky thing on your front window. And, you know, if you're driving internal, that's going to swerve. But your review mirror doesn't go anywhere. And you can turn it. And change it by just using your hand and turn it over so it's not gonna flop off or something I'm just trying to sound like I know what I'm talking about but I mean I do I made a point this one this connected to your review mirror it doesn't go anywhere it's like unless your review mirror unless you get in a wreck and somebody like backs into you going 100 and your review mirror flies off this thing's probably not gonna go anywhere so in the day this will be dope to shoot with it's be awesome like see it kind of shakes a little bit but that's expected right it's pretty tight is it tight yeah so you just tighten the little screw thing in the back of the thingy and then it stays so that's cool that's awesome let's see what it looks like we look at that you can record the front of your driving experience so there's my little rent talk review talk on drive I, I think i want to go get food found i'm getting paid for my leave my last check so and i'll start getting paid more when i work more obviously but see that's not that bad I need super steady mode on probably so it's not shaking the whole damn thing. Let's see how it looks on the front. See, I don't really like that. It looks like it's shaking a lot. I don't know if I have super steady mode on, but it might look back in post or look better in post. I don't know. I don't know how it's going to look, but I'll give it a shot. So there was my review, and I'm gonna get off here. There's my little rant driving video, so you guys have a good one. I'm